It's uh, James Steinhubel on the Travel Channel, TVU, on the Kate and Travel Show with your host, Wendy Sung. How are you doing, Wendy? I am doing great. Another great sunny day for us. How about you, James? Much the same, much the same. Exciting milestone. This is the first guest on Kate and Travel. So who do we got today? I'm very excited to have AM Resorts to uh, come and talk to us about um, uh, what's happening with... Um, going away for vacation and just staying at their, their, their uh, resorts. Um, so today we have, we're lucky to have uh, Brian Joseph um, to basically help us through, to basically build confidence with Canadian, uh, just talk about what the uh, destinations that are starting to open again and build confidence as, you know, when we, once we go to their destination, what to expect. And just, yeah, when, when, when are we ready to go travel? So we have uh, Brian Joseph here right now from M Resorts. He's going to go through a few things with us and um, just kind of have a great conversation. Awesome. How are you doing, Brian? I'm good, man. Glad to be here. It uh, is. It's exciting. It's exciting. So uh, just uh, first time you've been on the show. So um, tell us a little bit about the, the company and, and your role. And then I, uh, I've been told you have an exciting uh, presentation. So then we yeah. Can... So should I put it on? I can put it no. On let's for... let's talk a little bit about you and a little bit about the company first. So all right. Uh... Okay. So I'm uh, I'm actually in Toronto, Ontario, right now. Um, I'm one of the business development managers for AM Resorts in Canada. There's four business development managers in Canada, and uh, and AM Resorts. Not many people, believe it or not, not many people are actually familiar with AM Resorts. What they're familiar with is the brands that fall under AM Resorts. So we have seven brands in the Caribbean and one in Europe. Um, when I say Caribbean, I mean Caribbean, Mexico, you know, that, that whole region. Uh, so we have Zoetry, Secrets, Breathless, Dreams, Now, uh, Reflect, and Sunscape. Those wow. are our Caribbean brands. And then in Europe, we have the Alua brand. And these brands all cater to different markets, different um, demands. People, for example, Secrets and Breathless. These are luxury brands, but they're 18 plus. So it's all adults only. So anywhere that you see a Secrets, anywhere that you see a Breathless, those are adults only. And then between those two brands, again, for example, Secrets is more romantic, you know, more elegant. Um, whereas Breathless has a kind of a, a party side to it. Right, so it's a good brand if you want to go and have a great time as an adult. You want to go have a great time, good night clubs, you know, lots of entertainment. Um, so there's a little bit of a difference there, but they do balance it out by having nice spas and areas where you could escape. Um, so that's just two brands I, I spoke about. Then Zotri is like a really high end boutique brand. Dreams now and reflect these are our family friendly brands, and then we even have a family friendly budget brand, which is Sunscape. So I can get into that's a whole other. It's a conversation to have, but it's a lot of brands. But once you know who it's for, then you're able to, um, to really benefit from it. And that's where Wendy comes in as a professional. She's able to talk to people and figure out, okay, I know what you're looking for. I think this is a good brand for you. That's, uh, that, that's so good. Uh, lots of questions, but I'm excited to see the presentation. Any questions, uh, Wendy, before we get to uh, Brian's presentation? No, I, I, I'm sure the uh, answers will be, will be um, there as we go along. Can't wait. I really, I really like the, uh, I really like your product knowledge. Uh, I, I really like that you're genuinely excited about your, uh, about your brands and what you have to offer. So I could talk for hours about that, but let, <laughs> let's see, let's, uh, let, let's see what you got, Brian. Share your screen and take. Right, let me the share my screen with you. Hopefully, you'll see everything. Let's see. All right, are you seeing it? Uh, we are. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so as I mentioned, all the brands are there listed. So Zoetry is our small boutique, Secrets, our adults only luxury, um, and romance. When I say romance, just be wary. Um, it doesn't mean that it's only for a romance, right? Because some of the rooms have two beds, you know? Um, so it's really for any adult only environment where you want that luxury, that elegant feel to it. Uh, breathless, as I mentioned, we say live big, breathe deep in that it's a, it's a great place for you to just unwind, have a lot of fun, party, foam parties, all that kind of fun. We have DJs spinning music during the day, so it's very lively. But as I mentioned, there's also that quiet side to it um, that you could always escape. And it's actually a special section called the Exhale Club. Get it? Breathless, exhale, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you can relax. And that area has like exclusivities. So like an exclusive pool, an exclusive beach area, an exclusive restaurant. So you could kind of have your own little space. 
And then we go into the family-friendly brands, which is Dreams and Now. These are family-friendly luxury brands. Uh, they all have kids clubs with Red Cross certified staff. Um, they both are similar in terms of their inclusions, but Dreams, again, also has that romantic side to it. So I, I like to say Dreams is like secrets, but with kids, <laughs> right? Um, and then Now is very energetic, very lively, very br vibrant, very colorful. Um, and it's a true family-friendly brand in that it, uh, it's multi-generational. So there's a lot of adults-only areas and stuff like that. So some people, they want to travel with their family. They like the grandkids, but they don't want to be everybody else, around everybody else's kid. <laughs> you know? So mm -hmm. I'll stay in my adults-only section, visit my grandkids, and I'll go back to my section. So that's a good brand for that. Um, and then we have Reflect and Sunscape. These are our budget family friendly brands and they reflect kind of absorbs the culture of the destination that it's in. So we only have three locations in Mexico. So you get tequila and dance classes and um, language classes and all these different fun things and excursions outside of the resort. And then Sunscape is what we call our unlimited fun brand. So we just have a lot of inclusions, a lot of restaurant options and you can have a blast of a time. I left out Alua because again, that's Europe, but right now I want to focus on the Caribbean. Okay. okay, so who we are as a company, we're 18 years young, we're a leisure resort company in over 27 destinations. We have a wide portfolio of um, brands, as I mentioned, with a lot of room options. And then we, have, we are actually known as the fastest growing all-inclusive resort company. And this is, it's not about how fast we grow, but we do grow quickly because we know what we're doing. We've been doing it for a long time, you know, so um, we continue to grow, we continue to expand. And uh, that's why we're one of the leaders with regards to that. And then we're raising all inclusive to a new level of luxury because we do have a many, many luxury resorts. What I didn't mention is that with all those brands that I mentioned, all together, we're heading upwards of 70 resort choices. Seven zero. <laughs> right? Yeah. Wendy, you have your work cut out for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, but that's good. Options are good. It means that you can really, you know, find the one that, that fits your personality. And what I love is that we're not cookie cutter either. Each resort, even the ones within the same brands, have a slightly, each one has a little different vibe to it, a different layout, a different design. Um, so the service level will be similar, but the resorts themselves will have a different feel to it. That's why experts like Wendy is important, so they will be able to determine what's best for you. Well, as if I didn't reinforce it enough, here's a map of where we're located. So we're all over the Caribbean, lots of different destinations wow. in Mexico, Dominican Republic, um, Jamaica, Curacao, Panama, Costa Rica. So a lot of different options. We just opened one in St. Martin. I don't know if you're familiar with that destination, but it's a beautiful island. Um, on the French, it has a French side and a Dutch side. So we opened um, a resort there as well. So it's really, really nice that you have all these different options to choose from. What sets us apart? All of our resorts are located in ideal beachfront settings. You want to go to the Caribbean to an all-inclusive. What's the number one thing you expect? Beach. beach. Of course, you want a good beach, right? So all our resorts are on a good beach. But what's good about our resorts is not one, none of our resorts um, have um, reservations required at the restaurants. So you show up at the restaurant of your choice and that's it, you get served. Uh, if there's a delay, well, there's no restrictions at any of the restaurants. So you can choose to go to any restaurant that night and go to another one tomorrow. That may seem minor for those of you who never traveled be uh, to all inclusives before, but uh, usually there's a restriction there and it, it could get a bit annoying sometimes. Mm -hmm. So we take away that restriction for you. We don't do wristbands. That's another thing that you'll find a lot at resorts. We don't do it. You're free. Um, we do have, of course, security and checks and balances in place, but we don't see the need for wristbands. Right? I think that's a security thing. When you leave the resort, most people like to leave the resort and do excursions, go into town and different things. You can do that and people don't know exactly where you stay. Oh, he can afford a five star. He's a target. Right? right. So we kind of get rid of that and um, make it nice and easy breezy. Attention to detail. So we have um, great service, great guest experience. Um, with the uh, luxury brands, we have unlimited domestic premium and international brand drinks. All of our resorts have amazing spa options. All of our resorts are called, for example, Secrets Divine Resort and Spa. So the spa component is as important as the resort itself. Lots of different treatments, really beautiful spas that you can't even find in North America. Um, again, with the luxury brands, we have pool and beach weight service, live nightly entertainment. Nightly entertainment you'll find at a lot of resorts. Ours is just really awesome. 
<laughs> we just have some. Well, hey, right, yeah. you know, why not? Top level, mm-hmm. top level, so disolate kind of stuff. We don't see Michael Jackson and all that stuff. We we don't. Really no, know. but we have top know. quality in the It's good, so good. So with uh, COVID nineteen the pandemic, um, I'm sure that uh, a lot of questions are going to come up about you know what is, what do we have in place to reassure um, you as you travel, and we do have a customer reassurance. One, more, one of the most important things is to know that our, our resource have always been adhering to um, international uh, standard certifications um, of safety and making sure that everything is clean. So we've already been doing that, but of course, everything is now heightened. So we've enhanced it and we've, we're doing even more to ensure that uh, guests are being very well taken care of. So we do adhere to strict international guidelines. We are part of CRYSTAL certification uh, for international standards. That's something that is, uh, again, international. Uh, We reinforce um, additional precautionary measures. We have sanitations in place um, that's even more um, extreme, I would say, than what we had before. We do, every last one of our resorts have a physician on site. So if anything goes wrong, if you, your temperature is rising, you're wondering, oh my gosh, so is, something, is something wrong here? Um, there is always going to be physicians there that you can go to. Um, and of course, we have um, enhanced hygiene protocols in terms of hand sanitizers and all that stuff is going to be located everywhere. Um, in the buffet restaurants, just, we're going to be using these protocols in every area at the bars, at the restaurants to ensure that you're safe. Um, we actually call it our com- uh, clean, complete verification. So we give it a, its own name. This is um, trademarked. <laughs> and we have a whole list of things that we're doing. I don't have time to go through it in detail. So again, if you need uh, details, you can talk to, um, to Wendy uh, or your travel agent. But again, with our clean, uh, clean uh, certification, clean, complete, we do mention again that we are partnering with Crystal, Posi Check, and Food Check. These are all things and standards that we have in place, certifications that we have in place to ensure that we're meeting the international standards. And then we have this graph here that kind of breaks down what happens. And basically what it's doing is it's walking you through your experience when you arrive at the resort. So when you arrive at the resort and you, you, check, you arrive at the lobby, what do we have going on at the lobby? Mm-hmm. We are doing temperature checks. We're sanitizing everywhere. There's going to be sanitation stations everywhere. If we check your temperature and it's really high for whatever reason, assuming that is something you know that we don't really want to talk about on this <laughs> presentation, mm-hmm. but um, but if that's the case, we will we will uh, very uh, kindly um, transport you to the uh, physician and you can get a proper check that way. And if you leave the resort for whatever reason on, on a tour or something and you come back in again, we would scan again to make sure that you're okay. The rooms, we have a crystal room check certification um, tag that we put on the door handle. Just the same place where you put the do not disturb signs. Um, we have that on there if we've just finished cleaning the room to the standards as expected. We'll give you a lot of the products that you get, for example, um, you know, your, your TV remote, different things that you would get in your rooms. We would actually give that to you vacuum sealed, which means that you can be the next person touching it since it's been cleaned. It's vacuum sealed. And that happens throughout, even at the spas and different areas, we have that vacuum seal. Of course, I'm not going to go through all the way up to eight, but I think you get the idea. There's it's going to be so good. Yeah, it's very good. It's so good. There's going to be sanitizers as you enter the restaurant. There's going to be social distancing around the pool. So the pool chairs will have social distancing. Of course, in the pool, we have things in the water that will kill the disease. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, but there's going to be a lot of checks and balances throughout the resort and a lot of checks and balances behind the scenes. So there's a whole section here behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. So the staff are going to be taken care of. The staff are going to have to follow certain protocol and we will ensure that, uh, that the guests are very well taken care of. So I don't think you need to worry uh, when it comes to that. Okay. Um, now let's talk quickly about some of the things that I, I, I really feel that uh, you guys should know. With those 70 or so resources that we have, what we do is we constantly open new ones. So we'll talk quickly about some of the new resorts, but the ones that we already had that were already awesome, we've done a lot of renovations to them to make them better. So I just want to highlight this one, for example, now Sapphire in uh, Riviera Cancun, the city mine Riviera, about 30 minutes if so much from the airport, from Cancun airport. This was a beautiful resort, but what it was missing was swim up rooms. It didn't have any uh, swim up rooms. 
So what we did is we installed, we closed the resort, we did major renovations, and we opened these swim-up rooms right by the beach. So imagine that, you come out on a balcony and you have a swim-up room right by the beach. This is a AAA Four Diamond award-winning resort since 2012. We've, we've, um, we've included brand new minimalist um, architecture decor. <clears throat> so it gets more of a tropical feel. Prior to that, it was very Mexican, but now we give it a more Caribbean, you know, uh, total, total uh, tropical type feel. Spectacular accommodations. All the rooms have been refurbished, connecting rooms. We did have a new gym, a new main, uh, the new main pool, right in front of the main pool. The pool is huge. It's a large main pool. And we even um, added uh, a water park with huge slides. We added a splash park for the young kids in the kids club. Um, this resort has a teenager club as well called Corazon. We added a new wedding location right on the beach. And again, as I mentioned, we have the swim up rooms there. Totally different conversation. We could, we could talk about this again, James, for a whole hour. Oh, it's so <laughs> nice. It's so but nice. It's one of several resorts that we have. And then newly opened, as I mentioned, in St. Martin. This is on the French side, as you can tell by the spelling, because the Dutch side has a different spelling to Martin. Um, but this is the only adults-only luxury all-inclusive resort in St. Martin, because St. Martin isn't known for all-inclusives. So it has very few all-inclusives, and this is the only adults only luxury one. So that's something to look forward to. It's on its own little beach. You can see the island of Anguilla in the distance, which is a beautiful island that you can go to on an excursion. It's very close to the marina. It's close to Orient Bay, which is a popular beach on the island as well. And as you can see there, as a secret, it's adults only. Just remember that. And you can see that we have the swim up rooms. It's right on that nice quiet beach. It's a beautiful, beautiful resort. All sweet resort with beautiful ocean views or mountain views. In uh, Punta Cana, we have the Dreams Macau Beach. This one will have a lazy river. It has villas, um, very modern. This was built from scratch. Absolutely gorgeous resort in Punta Cana. Um, on a new beach, a beach that um, there's no other resorts. We are the only resort on that beach called Macau Beach, right? It's a really nice beach. As you can see, they're very, very modern. Lots of pool areas, really nice restaurants, etc., to choose from. Um, we just opened the Dreams Natura. It actually opened in uh, early March and then had to close because of, <laughs> of COVID-19. Um, but this is brand new. It actually opened as the now Natura, um, but we, we felt that it had enough elegance in it to, to be a Dreams. So we switched it from now. I don't know if Wendy knows that. That's, that's brand new information. But um, it went from a now to a Dreams. And this resort also has um, a water park. It even has a glider. Um, and a glider. It has a, a lovely pool area, as well, a nice stretch of beach, and it's only about 20 25 minutes from the Cancun airport. Mm. Um, very small. Our resorts are generally small. We don't have very big resorts. Average size is about 400 rooms. So this one is 550 rooms with nine restaurants. Very uh, nature friendly. Um, lovely views of the ocean, amazing um, kids' clubs, amazing core, core zone clubs for the teenagers. Um, the roller glider aerial ride is going to be very popular here. But what, what impressed me the most, I was able to see it just before it opened. What impressed me the most is the amount of space that they have for um, conferences. So if you're looking at doing conferences and groups, etc., cetera, um, this is a good resort for that as well. And if you're doing weddings, lots of new wedding locations as well. In Cancun, just outside of the hotel zone, we have the Dreams Vista Cancun. This is opening in 2020. So this will be opening, um, I believe, in August, August or September. Brand new, um, lovely pool areas right next to a golf course. It's actually five minutes from the ferry that will take you to the island of Isla Mujeres, if you're familiar with that island. Um, and it, uh, it, there's a boat that will take you to the shopping centers and all that stuff. So it's a really nice location. Um, very, very modern decor. Again, fairly small, only 416 rooms. This resort also has a water park. It even has, um, what do you call it, a food court. It has a food court right by the beach. So you can actually go and choose, you know, what type of food you want and it'll be there. And it even has two surfing pools, surf simulators that you can uh, enjoy there as well. So that's a really nice resort. Every room has an ocean view. There you can see the water park, the teenager zone. Mm. It's had, oh, the rooftop bar, bar 360. <sighs> that bar, the view from up there is insane. And the best part is that that part of the resort is adults only. So it means that that's an area that you could escape. 
Um, it's a preferred club adults only area. So preferred club is like an upgraded service that we have. So um, that area, if you upgrade to a preferred club room, you will have access to that area, adults only panoramas of Cancun, which is spectacular. Mm. I, I can't stress it more. Right, so that's basically the rundown of the brands, a rundown of some of the new resorts that we have. So um, the question is gonna come, when are the resorts going to open? As you can imagine, we have 70 resorts, so I'm not gonna list the opening dates for all of them. Um, also, it's very unpredictable. It really depends on flights, it depends on the government, it depends on this pandemic and how it goes. Um, but I can tell you that many of our resorts are opening in June. Um, most of them, I think, are opening in July, and we have a couple of them that are opening more like October, November and stuff. And that's more because of demand. Um, we know that there's going to be a gap there, you know, where people will be kind of waiting to see the situation and then traveling. So some of the resorts where we know that we already have five, six, seven resorts in the destination, we could afford to keep a couple of them closed a little bit longer until business really picks up. Okay. So that's my little uh, breakdown. I hope I didn't go too long. But no, 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 no. Just un unshare your screen so we ask, uh, ask you a few questions. Okay. Let me have to stop sharing here. There we go. Okay. We're back. Awesome. Do you have any questions, Wendy? I've got a few, so <laughs> got got to hear you. Yeah. Got to hear you, Mike. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's uh, okay. That quick presentation, Brian. Um, lots of information. Um, I guess my question would be for everybody: the beach, and is there a requirement to wear the mask where while you're at the beach? Well, the thing about it is that with, with the resorts, I don't think it's mandatory to wear the masks, right? Um, I think it's kind and respectful. I think you should. Um, but I don't think there's any um, policing in terms of having to wear a mask. You know, like you choose to wear the mask and we, we will have stuff to provide for you if needed. But I don't think we're going to be that super strict on masks. Sounds good. People are going to be in the pool. They can't wear the mask in the right. pool. <laughs> And, and I guess uh, I, I have a few few clients are thinking, should I go now or should I go later while it's opening? I guess there's the give and take, right? If you go now, you know you have more space and, uh, you know, like the, the, the ratio of people being there is less. But people want to wait out by the time later, you know, do we see see that things might be busier and price going up, you know? So people people cannot weigh this two situations. So what, what what is your take on that? Yeah, you just answered it. That was the answer. So it really is up to the individual. If you, what you said is 100% correct, if they go sooner, when the resort is open, the benefit is that everything is going to be very heightened when it just opens. Oh, you know, everybody's going right. to be very meticulous. Right. Um, but you're going to be there. There probably wouldn't be as many people. You will have access to a lot more stuff, less, less lining up and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that's, there's benefits to going sooner, there's benefits to going later, because later on, maybe things would be settled, everything would be in place, you know, everything's run like a well-oiled machine, but now that that's happening, there's going to be more people, the lines might be a little bit longer, that kind of stuff. Um, so it is, I can't answer that, because it's just too, the situation is a little bit too liquid to sit yeah. like one over the other. It's really a personal preference. That sounds good. And I, I guess maybe, maybe my next one, I, I see that you guys have so many, uh, so many destinations uh, all across. What are the most popular ones that Canadians love to go to that you can see maybe starting out with that, that they're comfortable? Yeah. Easily, the two top destinations for Canadian travelers is Mexico and Dominican Republic. All right. Mm. So uh, Mexico in particular, the Manor Vieira is very popular. Um, out in Western Canada, you'll find that the West Coast might be more popular. So Puerto Vallarta, Los Cabos, um, Huatulco. Huatulco is a beautiful area that you could consider as well. Um, so Mexico, what's good about Mexico is that they have multiple destinations within one country, you know? So you could really explore and each, each area has a different experience. It's, a, it's quite exciting. And then the Dominican Republic is also very popular. Again, uh, in particular, Punta Cana. Um, lovely beaches, great service, lots of nice resorts to go to. And price-wise, um, it's, it's fairly good. Um, again, out west, you probably have a lot of people traveling uh, to like Costa Rica, Panama, again, because of distance, right. probably uh, well-priced as well. But if you're looking at one or two choices, um, most popular, I would say it would be Dominican Republic and uh, Mexico. Very true, very true. Um, maybe I can bounce it back to either James or, or Brian, <laughs> Questions for us. I have just one closing one before I go ahead, just to be <laughs> questions and answer. 
You know what? I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just super impressed with uh, how you've uh, presented uh, your uh, business and your, and your company and your brands. And uh, so, you know, you're in, living in the working in Canada, you've got your family here and that's awesome. Welcome. Thank you. Be involved. Do it. But where, where did you grow up in the company? Uh, and what, how did you, how did you come to Canada? Like, and was it through oh, yeah, the company? I was, I was obviously, I'm sure you can be tell I have an accent. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was actually born in um, the islands of Trinidad and Tobago. Mm-hmm. I was actually a banker when I first moved, when I moved to Canada. Um, I was a banker in Trinidad, a bank supervisor, and I always had a passion for tourism. You know, so I came up to Canada to study tourism. My brother was already here with his wife. Um, and while I was studying, you know, some personal stuff happened. My dad passed away, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Um, so my mom came to Canada to be with us and. Um, she settled in so nicely. So I decided, you know what, but maybe I should just stay in Canada. And one thing led to the next, and now here I am. <laughs> it got everybody up in Canada now for work. You got to go, you got to travel back. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any thoughts so- in Trinidad and Tobago though, but I get, oh. to, I get to experience the, the weather. Yeah, sure. Nice and close, nice and close. Yeah. Now, the other thing that's really interesting to me is, is the company, you know, Wow, you guys are just see the, the 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 business, the company, and and uh, you know. So I don't want to because we, we again another time we could talk lots about it. But what's interesting is your design team and you know the front end conceptual team who who's uh, designing the property, but also inventing the customer experience. Is that all in house, or, or how does that work? Yeah, so it's, it's it's a very good question. Um, this is this is more on a Wendy level, but I'll I'll, I'll talk about it. Um, so AM Resorts is more of a marketing company. Um, so if you, we started with one brand, one resort. It was called the Secrets Capri in Mexico. And the success of that resort, we added another and another and another and another oh, okay. and another. And it just keep, kept on adding. And then we started to add different brands, one for families now and this and that. And eventually as time uh, continued and the success continued, we decided to keep growing, growing, growing. And what we do is we have people who might own a resort and an existing resort and they decide that they want our services in terms of marketing in terms of um you know whatever resources we have to help them with the resort and we will then give them a criteria so in order for you to be called a now property in order for you to be called a dreams or secrets this is you must follow these rules you must open this this wing or that area or close this or open that you must um, follow these rules in terms of our level of service these are the expectations of our guests and once they could meet that criteria, then we can switch them over to one of our brands. Um, with the new resorts, yes, we have a management team that will be working with the owners, working with the team and destination, um, and helping with the design itself of the, of the particular resort that's new. So we have a mix of being a manager, and we have a mix of actually owning resorts, and we have a mix of working with other managers in conjunction to open new resorts. So it's a, it's a big company. It's a big project, a big uh, job that we have. Um, but the ultimate goal is always to give customers options. And when the guests do arrive to ensure that they have a wonderful experience for what they paid. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Well, we're, uh, we're, get, we're running out of time. Any last question before we uh, leave, Wendy? Just, just a very quick one, um, I guess, uh, for, for Brian here. I mean, through this COVID situation, I mean, what have you found that in value of customers doing their own travel planning or booking versus going through a travel agent? Do you see any values between those, uh, I guess, two, two different ways of getting through to, to you guys? Yeah, well, first of all, agents, travel agents, I, I always encourage people to book through a travel agent um, because travel agents have to be certified. You know, um, it's called... Tico, I don't know if that's if that's what if, I mean. I'm, I'm assuming that you're Tico certified. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it just have to be Tico certified first of all. This means that they went through a rigorous training to be to be qualified to sell travel. Why do you need qualification to sell travel? Right? It's a complex thing. It might seem easy. You can go online and book mm-hmm. it, sure. But what happens when stuff goes wrong? What are the expectations? You know. So um, what about insurance? What about all these other things that are important for you to have when you travel? It might seem minor, but the travel agent knows it and they know it inside out and they can help you. So I always encourage um, customers to book through a travel agent. There's no financial downfall if you do that. It's pretty much the same pricing, um, which is unfair in my opinion. I think a travel agent should always get an extra something. But um, yeah, absolutely. Use a professional. 
And, and in a time like this with the pandemic, I tell you, I've heard so many stories, Wendy, I'm sure you've heard lots of stories too, of um, people who were due to travel and there were no flights. There was a ban. You can't travel. So now they have to contact who? <laughs> right? I, so contact, try to contact the resort. How many calls do you think the resort is getting? You know? How much easier would it have been to just say, hey, Wendy, or hey, travel agent, um, this is my situation. Wendy will be like, I'll take care of it. I got this. And you have someone who is taking care of this for you and you get your refund or you change your dates accordingly. So I, I think that if it's one thing that COVID-19 show, uh, has shown us is that the use of a travel professional is very, very important, more so than ever. Awesome. With that, the Kate and Travel Show with our host, Wendy Sung, and a kind and generous uh, guest today shared very well, Brian mm -hmm. Joseph, Business Development Manager, AM Resorts on the Travel Channel. TVU. Bye. Bye.